logo. Oh, that was uh, Steven York. Steven plays. That was, that was he, such he, a great <laughs> logo. So many people didn't get it. So many people thought that was his actual logo for his next Let's Play. You know what? I would believe it. It's the kind of stupid game that I could see him doing and just be like, this is a really good underrated game. You could see him doing a 101 Dalmatians game legitimately? Yeah, I could kind of see him doing that. Maybe as like, I could too. Though. <laughs> I had the, I think I had the one on the Game Boy Color as a kid. Was that, 100, a was that 102 Dalmatians? Was that what it was? I don't know, there was a 102 Dalmatians I, I, game. I had the Austin Powers game where you play as Dr. Evil and you just walk around Slayer at the Little Nicky game, if you've ever seen that one. I've seen the Little Nicky one. Uh, the the only Austin Powers Game Boy one I'm aware of is the the PDA one. That might be what it was. I, I just remember you walk around in Dr. Evil's Lair and you don't do anything. And I was like, this game is stupid. Why did I buy this? The Little Nicky one, though, is so stupidly amazing because... You just shove pineapples up Hitler's butt. That's that's literally the whole game because of that movie. What? I don't know why that they thought it was a good idea to make that for kids, but I don't know if I had Maybe it. kids really hate yeah. Hitler. You ever think of that? Well, <laughs> that's true. He was kind of a dick. I heard I heard he did some bad things. <laughs> he was a dictator though. So I guess that does make sense. Ah, uh, I have something I was gonna say, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna not say it. It's not offensive, but it just, I don't even know. No, go ahead. If you think I it might be offensive, me oh, okay. If it's no. not. If it's gonna be offensive, yeah, but. It's not? I just, I was gonna say he really hated orange juice. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap! I was being super safe. I didn't, I didn't wanna. I don't think, there's no way that's offensive, it was just stupid. It's not, no. <laughs> Ah, oh, God. <clears throat> God. Going to baseball games. Great on the voice. Game that you couldn't go today, though. Yeah, I think it's today's game, too, but there's like a 75% chance of Thunderstorm. I'm like, I'll just save my money. And, if, uh, you know what? Playing it safe is smart. There are some stupid fans that are just like, I have to go to every game. Ah, oh, crap. That was farther than I thought. I did. Ticket cost me $6, so I'm <laughs> not too upset. Uh, I okay. I have no idea what just happened there, but uh, I. It looks like a draw. Yeah, that's looking like it's gonna be a draw. That's definitely a draw. That was a very weird lag spike. But yeah, that's definitely another point for draw. Well, there we go. What we got? Uh, Kevin's got two. Draw's got two. I've got one. Juker's got one. <laughs> My parents are orange juice. <laughs> Ooh, I'm being told that uh, my alma mater, there is a Mark Art 8 tournament starting at 6 p.m. Ooh. I might that... try to go to that. At 6 p.m. to... No. No, Thursday. Oh, I was going to... Thursday. Oh, it's always worth losing your voice for a baseball game. Ah. Except yesterday they lost 10 to 2. I will never understand the stupidly obsessed sports fans. Oh, you mean John? <laughs> Essentially. I'm going to... Like, the pe no, the people, though, who scream all the time and, like, have these dumb superstitions that, like, everything they do affects the game. Because my dad is like that. Like, with football, he has to make nachos perfectly or else... He'll be like, oh, they're going to lose now. And it's, it's so stupid. Why would you ever believe that? To be fair, if you see the same thing trending for quite a while, you start believing, like, in patterns, too. So it's just the yeah, natural superstition of a human being. It's a little weird. Jim Carrey became obsessed with the number 23 and then made a movie That's about it. That's one of my favorite <laughs> worst movies. I okay. like that movie. I thought that was based I, on a book, not him just being you know randomly obsessed with it. Guy just goes to kill himself no, he... I believe it was before the movie he got obsessed with the number 23. That really? And no changed happened? his movie studio name to the number 20, or like 23 Studios or something. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Jim Carrey could be good in serious roles. Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah, Eternal Sunshine is a pretty good movie. <laughs> uh, let me check. I think Jim Carrey actually became obsessed with the number 23. 
Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine is a great movie. I kind of want to watch that again now. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie in ages. John is a guy who wears a Yankee jersey in Boston. Yes, and I will be wearing one when I go to Cleveland in a couple weeks. Or as uh, Sloby says, aren't you Michael Moore? Dude, you have no idea how many people started thinking I was, like came up to me that like this packs about that because I was on stage the whole time. So they were like, "Who the hell is that?" Oh, oh. he's a big runway guys fan. Yeah, I I remember when like I think I was talking to someone and then I told them, "Yeah, I'm in the video," and they freaked out because they realized that like they didn't realize I was there. And I was like, "I thought I told everyone I was gonna be on there." Apparently that not. That was a day. You're telling me, man. You're telling me. <laughs> I heard that went much better at uh, Momocon. Momocon was the smoothest run of throne controllers we've ever had. And I'm kind of shocked. It's also the one that we don't have an actual recording of the gameplay. That's a shame. <laughs> it's always the one time someone isn't recording something that goes wrong. Oh, no, no. The, the panel itself is recorded. There's plenty of footage of us, like, on stage. There's just no footage of the gameplay. Unless oh, someone, like, handicammed it. No technical difficulties? Uh, not really. The only one we bumped into was Dead or Alive 5 didn't want to load at first, and it ended up I just had to... movies, probably, if I had to guess. I had to load my profile first, because that same problem that came up during stream, like, the week before happened. Was that Dead or Alive 5? That was DOA 5. Yeah, Vince found me at PAX by yelling in a crowd, I'm looking for German badass. It was kind of amazing. Well, it worked. It did. Very, very effectively. Then it played, like, a 15-person Ka game. Well, fuck. The film was financially successful, but critical reviews were largely negative. Wait, how'd you die? How'd you die, Joker? You're dead. When did I die? You got crushed. I think you got crushed. I didn't get crushed on my screen. There weren't any blocks. M maybe you got picked off by a fuse. You definitely died. I just watched you die. That's really weird. Oh, draw wins. Game's right. over, guys. Let's go home. End of stream. As is the tradition when draw wins. As is the tradition. We just all feel shame. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's excited about eternal shame. And how early it happened this time. Well, I don't think we've ever had it that it's just been the first match. Uh, I think we have. I want to say that's happened before. Uh, we would have to check the scoreboards. I'm assuming <laughs> draws are on there. 23 yep. reasons you shouldn't bother seeing the movie, the number 23. <laughs> I like that. Movie. At least it was themed. Yeah, he was obsessed with the number 23 before that movie even came out. That's really weird. I think I found some backwards way to make my birthday to be 23. I just don't remember what. Well, you just add enough numbers to it till it turns into 23. I think it was. Hold on, let me see. I need to write this down because I forgot. But I, at one point, it was that you had to do stupid math or it to work, but it did work. You mean all math? Yeah, pretty much. Did you just call all math stupid? Yes. There is some pretty amazing stuff you can do with math, though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, like add. <laughs> oh yeah. Some of it was stuff is just unnecessarily complicated, and like, why would you ever want to find this out? So my birthday is one two nineteen ninety two. So if you add two plus nine plus nine plus one plus two times one is twenty three. Why times what one? Do you don't. You don't need times one. That's like doing nothing. Yeah, that's very. I know. That's the point. Is that it doesn't work unless I like all numbers don't get used unless I multiply it by oh, one. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Okay. Either way, yes, that is very silly. the reason for the number 23 though no one no one's gonna watch that movie we don't care if we spoil it i i honestly don't remember because the movie was that it's, bad um jim carrey 
uh, finds a book at a bookstore, like, a book that was never published, uh, about, like, a serial killer, a, a detective who was a serial killer. So Dexter? And, like, he gets obsessed with the number 23, then at the end of the movie you realize Jim Carrey got, hit, like, had head trauma and was the character in the book and killed all these people. That is the whole movie, is that he, find, he, he finds out he had head trauma at one point and murdered people. So literally, I, Dexter. It's kind of like, I love you, Philip Morris, but instead of becoming gay, he becomes normal. That's normal? No, he, he became normal. He went from serial killer to normal. Before his head trauma, he did all that. He, he completely forgot everything before he had head trauma. Someone just add one twenty three ones in your chat. Yes, they did. Nice. There we go. You're, oh, you're dead on my screen. Nope. I'm perfectly live on my side. What is with my game tonight? I'm doing my very awkward pose. All right. So that's two points, Kevin. Two, <laughs> two points, John. Three points, draw. One point, Joker. I can at least try to tr I can try to tie draw for the win. I'm pretty sure I gave a solid plot synopsis of that movie. <laughs> as like, good as you forgot the part where he just starts drawing the number 23 on his face. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you know that my birthday was October 13th? You know what that adds up to, right? <laughs> 1013. You're right. <laughs> So Death Note, <laughs> a detective who is a killer. So Death Note. Oh, he wasn't a detective so in Death, Death Note. Note is he an he eventually movie. became a detective. Oh, I only saw, I only like read. Best part is the potato chip part. You're not missing out. That fucking potato chip part. I only read I think the first manga of that, and then watched the movies. Uh, the, yeah, the movies changed some things substantially. I watched both the animated and live action movies. I stopped at the second story arc. Like I, I read like the first manga of it and then stopped. Because everyone was telling me at the time, like it's not as good, so I just recommend skipping it. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, it's kind of the same way with this the North Star Part Two. I guess. And to be fair, I also like I haven't finished kind of Part Two yet. But that's also because I don't remember where half my good. DVDs are. Are the only like comic I've read in a very long time. Comic or manga? Or it's Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, I'd call that a comic. Yeah, it's a comic. Graphic novel, if you want. Graphic novels are great. I read those. I kind of want to... I don't want to... I just want to see the colored one, but I don't really want to reread them. I just want to, like, flip through it. I do like in Scott Pilgrim though that you remember the joke about is that your natural hair color? Because uh, yeah. it's in black and white, so you don't actually know the hair color. <laughs> There's yeah. a little note in the colored version where it says this is actually funnier in, in black and white. <laughs> it's just got hair. It would be funny if they just made that one page black and white. <laughs> that one that panel. Good, That's it. Just the panel. Just the panel. Just the panel. <laughs> God, surfing on your knees in this game is so funny. It really is the best part of this whole game. Apparently I picked up Remote Bomb, but I still have two sig. Usually that's supposed to override it. Maybe you accidentally got both? No, I had the piercing earlier. Nope, no idea. I don't know, my game's been really weird tonight. Alright, Zeth's the only player out so far. Uh-oh, I'm dead. I'll take you with me! 
All right, we're leaving it down to the luck of the Kevin. OS Sabotage, the Puffin, and I am 3D Homer. Sabotage has the health advantage. Also, I realize that might be QS now that I think about it, not OS. Oh, everyone. Oh. But there Looks you go. Like sabotage. Sab sabotage takes it. Sabotage is on the board. Sabotage, do you like the Beastie Boys? Um, so I was at the Yankee game yesterday and found out one of the walk-up themes to one of the Yankees is intergalactic, and nice. I instantly got happy. Because I don't like the Beastie Boys that much, but they have certain songs I really like, and Intergalactic is one of them. It's all about giant robots. That one and Sabotage are probably my two favorite Beastie Boys songs. It's, it's pronounced Sabtash. Sabtash? Sabtash. I think my favorite Beastie Boys song is Robot Hill. Right. Stop. <laughs> it, it's what? Robot, Robot Hill. Hill. Oh god. <laughs> it took me like a second to be like, what the fuck? And then I was like, oh yeah, future one. I forgot they it were in. the first season, too. Like one of the, uh, like the season finale. Second or third? Are you sure? Yeah, because I was watching, or uh, my ex was watching Futurama at the time. And I remember her going through, like, all the seasons, and it took her quite a while to get to that one. Huh. I, um. Fuck. I was watching, going through Futurama again as well. And when, uh, Jurassic Tr Park came up, I just skipped it. I know, that's. One episode that I can never watch, I will always cry. I like this if you cry every time. That episode was gonna be a lot sadder originally. It was gonna be instead of the dog, it was gonna be his mom that he was carrying around New York City, but they realized that was gonna be kind of weird, just carrying around a fossilized person. So they changed it. Which that would have been so much sadder if it was his mom. Yeah. Honestly, but... probably not. It would have been not as sad, I think. It depends. They could have done a lot more than just the dog was sitting there, which the episode, was really sad. I just watched that one too. The episode is his brother. Oh God! Oh, which one? The, Philip, the Philip J. Fry one. Yeah, the Philip we J. Fry Jr. stole his name. With the Breakfast Club soundtrack. <laughs> but that one doesn't have "Walking on Sunshine," which you can't. Pawn Storm has a bit about that, where like a chart the level of appropriateness versus comedy. It's like Is it, it's never appropriate to play Walking on Sunshine. No, but it was like a you know the dog commercial or the adopt a pet pet commercial where they do you know what you're talking about, yeah. And the Sarah McLaughlin. They're In like the arms this of funny. the angel. Every and time. Then, and then they're like, what level of what song can make this a right amount of appropriate over comedy? And they play like Who Let the Dogs Out. They're like, this is pretty good. And then they put like. Um, the Sarah McLaughlin, like, this is our baseline. And then they said, way down here, depending on what kind of nerd you are, and then it's, they play Walking on Sunshine. <laughs> I also realized that Palm Storm Live is about infinitely better than them on their studio albums. It's really hard to listen to them on studio. How come? Because all of their jokes are, like, done live. Their jokes- Have you seen Flight of the Concords live? They're amazing. So I've heard. I've, I would love to catch those guys live. Do, they, do they even the perform concerts, anymore? And I have not been disappointed. Either one. They actually do have some of the characters of the show do some opening bits. So it's not just music. Like, they had Kristen Shaw one time, then they had the guy who plays Dave, and that's Arj Barker. Hey, villain. Hi, villain. Futurama claims it's a comedy makes you cry like a bitch. <laughs> uh oh, I'm dead. I messed up! I think Dude, that might have still been a draw, though. That was not a draw? That, that, that was a draw. That was indeed a draw. So what happens if we get double draws, like six? Uh, that's happened before, actually, and we just felt double eternal shame. So basically infinity plus one. So essentially, we reincarnated, had so much failure that just kind of stuck around with us. Yeah, basically, yeah, next life we'll oh, still feel shame right. and we'll never understand why. 
But does anyone really understand this game? So Puffin is getting robbed, man. Like he's even saying like three times yeah. now he's come close. I feel bad for him. Like he's a new player. He's doing really good tonight. Draw with four. <laughs> Power Ten up games. team wins. Ah, uh, really? Ugh. We have a lot of room, though. Yeah, that's true. You can't do high notes, or I would. <laughs> the old call one is from Mega G Wolf. What? Villain did the call command on Nightbot and said, please give a warm welcome to our guest caller, Mega G Wolf. Wow. We yeah, have not updated that in a while. Well, that was like, what, three cookies ago? Not not too long ago. I would say four. That was actually the Dead or Alive 5 one. So that would have been the last cookie before I went. That would be the last stream I did before I left for a meal. So really, that's only one cookie old. Oh. Wait, no, that's not. Because there's the Misfortune one. Assuming you're counting that. Was that before? I thought that was after. That was right before, remember? Because that was you and me. Mm, okay, fair enough. Well, then never mind. I guess it was two or three cookies back then. I know you had a cookie night, like, last Friday. Yeah, that's the that was the first stream I did since I've been back. And I think there's going to be this stream this week, and then the sub night on Saturday. And then that's going to be it for, like, another week and a half. Until while I'm gone. Uh, no, the list is not out yet. So far in the voting docket is Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8, and Trouble in Terrorist Town. So, for the, like, five people in chat who watch my radio show, I might tell you who the special guest is tonight, if I feel awesome enough. Sarah McLaughlin! Yes, it's actually Seymour. <laughs> I found him in Brooklyn. I found the dog. He's walking on sunshine, right? <laughs> to those who don't know, on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern, I run a radio show now on Twitch. It's good if you just want something to relax to in the background. It's all about music. It's literally, I play a game in background so I don't get banned on Twitch. On mute, and then music plays, and I talk every 15 to 20 minutes. And then once a month, I have a special guest. Last month it was Juger. He played JoJo's Big Adventure song. Bizarre. Bizarre, sorry. Villain has a big thing to top, let's just say that. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd, I slow, I'd slow clap, but I'm playing the game right now. <laughs> just well done. <laughs> just so fucking well done. Yes, okay. villain's the special guest this Friday. <laughs> Surprise! I was so good the last like two weeks when I was like talking about the special guest, making sure I said they and like non-gender specific. <laughs> that, yeah, I know that was, that's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also sorry for that, John. Whatever, I dropped the bomb because I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> Zeth is on the board! And this first round does not want to end. That was really funny. It's gonna be the whole stream, it's just everyone's just gonna get two. What? What's this fire hopping in Mario Kart? Oh, jumping over fireballs, probably. You made a boob joke about villain? No, I didn't. When did I make a boob joke? You said, you said a big comment, and I assume that was taken as... I said big shoes. Oh. Yeah. He they, said they, that... they probably heard big boobs to fill, so... <laughs> he said... Villain, you... can you... Do you have bigger boobs than Juker? <laughs> That's a good question. Those are some big boobs you gotta fill. She's got enough t-shirts to fill, not for sure. <laughs>
Yes, can confirm. <laughs> 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 to be fair, not that hard of a challenge if you think about it long enough. Really, the only guy with amazing moves is, well, Liam. I mean, have you seen his moves? No, and it's not really on my agenda, so... <laughs> not yet, it is. You saying I'm going to add it to my agenda now? Now that you've brought up the subject? So, 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 Villain said, her, <laughs> Villain said her boobs are bigger than shoes. Well, there you go. Whose shoes are we talking about here? <laughs> I've seen some pretty big shoes. In case you missed that over my cackling because Juker fucked up. Uh, yeah, that was a bad slip up. That was hilarious. <laughs> Well done, um, sir. Well done. Every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, I started running a radio show on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash nyvideogamefreak. And once a month, I have a special guest. Juker was May's special guest, and the villain is going to be June's. And this that's this Friday. Ooh. Sparky. Villain's boobs OP. It's actually not villain, I lied, it's actually just <laughs> So I didn't spoil it well, until now. <laughs> Only half. Well, yeah, now you've ruined it. Next next month is going to be like Tim's shoulder. Tim's shoulder. <laughs> just random just body parts. <laughs> Have Emil's bad puns as one guy. Oh, I'll just have his polo. Just his polo. That that is his defining characteristic, his polo <laughs> shirt. Let's be let's be real here. Ha have you ever seen him wear anything that isn't a polo? Yes, actually, very often. Really? But I am also stayed at his house before, so that's why. I don't think I've seen anything. O only in his most <laughs> only when he's at home relaxing can he take off the the cumbersome polo. <laughs> the comfortableness of a polo. Uh, no, I'll take that. They aren't. Oh, that was so stupid of me. Oh, I'm paying what for that one. I thought I was trying to get ready to trap Zeth, but I ended up. I well, never mind. Never mind. Not a big deal. No, no, someone won. <laughs> no. Oh, actually, shit. You're right. Based on luck. Yeah, luck yep, won it. Luck there you go. He sounds really excited in that in the game. He's yelling woo and hoorah a lot. Someone said, "Would you say meals?" Okay, so would you say Emil's brother would be called Marco? <laughs> yes. Someone says, uh, don't diss polos. We're dissing polos. You think you should just have oh, mo ah, own more than that. Yeah, he, like, he rarely in public is seen wearing anything else. He's just a classy individual. I can't yeah. believe I just called Emil classy. There you go. You done it. You ruined it. And on that note, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we'll start up round two of Barman Act Zero, night six. I'm also going to go stretch and attempt to wake up a little bit more. Seeing a ton of people post eggs and bombs. I think Not... that's just excitement. Oh, okay. Yeah, Baz Knights usually don't have that many subs. So it should be nice and quiet. Also, my... Oh, right, I changed a bunch of the clips. I forgot about that. Also, the sound is not working. What the fuck? Anytime now. <laughs> Where is that gift from? What gift? The, the Waluigi one. You won this hole? Which one? Oh, no, him giving the finger. That's probably Tom Fox. If I had to guess. Zix Katana, sorry if I missed your egg. Here you go. Thank you for subbing. Here's your bomb. God. I'm gonna head to bed. Night, Night out, out Sam. <laughs> I love the banana and the beer bottle. I was bottle just too. about to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, break time. Thanks, Obama. Uh, that is not a TF2 gift. That is technically it's the 